Welcome back to Heimlich Hot Rods. Today, we're getting back on this truck bed. Got a few more braces to weld in, uh, and then we're gonna start chopping it up. We need to widen these tubs and uh, get to work on this thing. So let's get going. All right, so you might notice a big box covered up over here in the background. Don't worry about that. Santa Claus dropped that off. He said he'll be back on Christmas Eve to put it together. So we just have to leave that over there for now. All right, so what we're gonna start with is uh, we're gonna get an X brace going here, and then we're gonna get some false bracing to take the place of these uh, down a little lower, give us the room to work, and then we'll start cutting everything out. cooking with gas let's go ahead and uh, we got a lot of spot welds to drill out because I need to kind of keep these panels as clean as I can uh, I'm gonna cut these out and widen them so let's get to it cut out and all we have left is to cut these tubs out get in there Like a champion. Not even spilling the milk. Alright. Good morning, y'all. Guys, I made one of these uh, you know, handy helper little things uh, to hold things for you. But I also figured with my vise, I can use it to you know, prop things up. Or if I'm welding round pipe, I can use it as an armrest, and it might work actually really good for that. So we'll give it a shot. Alright, while I'm letting this cool down, I am having issues like you wouldn't believe. I'm getting a lot of splatter. I think it's because I didn't get all that MIG weld off maybe. I cleaned it pretty well, but man, I'm getting a lot of splatter and it keeps getting all over my tip. So I mean, it's coming out pretty good for sheet metal welding. It's all getting ground down. this thing cool down grind the welds inside and out and then try and straighten out a little bit of the warpage all 
All right, we got this side all welded in. I'm gonna let it cool a little bit and uh, gotta grind these welds down. I went ahead and I just MIG welded it. Uh, Tib welder's been giving me a little bit of trouble, so figured this is kind of dirty metal and we'll just get it, get it done quick. And I wasn't really worried about it in this area. Um, in here, where we can hammer on it, it's nice to have it TIG welded, so uh, we're not gonna be hammering on the edge, obviously, so that'll be fine. And, uh... All right, well, I was just using another little tool I thought I'd share with you guys, so... Take some popsicle sticks, got your Sharpie. So I wrap the tape around sticky side out first, so these can slide and adjust. So when you need to scribe something, you can kind of have some different adjustments inside and outside scribing. Pretty easy to do. Good little trick, helps out a lot. going on but it's welding a lot better on this one. I don't know if the other one had a oil on it or something I couldn't get out of it. I didn't feel like I cleaned this one even as good. It's welding a lot better. Seems like we're getting good penetration there. It's hard to see but put away for the day straightened up so we got both tubs welded in we're gonna work on the frame tomorrow we'll see you then Morning. we're back so it's, it's nice in the garage today it's about 40 degrees out here and uh, I like this weather it doesn't bother me one bit let's get to work gotta move some stuff around and start building our frame for the bed. So, here we go. saw that but uh, what I need to do here is I need to cut this fender tub at my height that my frame is going to be at so I don't want to cut my string obviously and it's hard to mark next to a string so I just took some spray paint and lightly dusted it and left myself a nice line and then I'll take my little ruler right here and we'll go around the corner just follow that line like that around my fenders there so I'm gonna have my frame sticking out an inch all the way around that way when my bed comes up it doesn't scrape the sides of the fenders it's got a little bit of room so I'm gonna use this masonite I'm gonna make myself a nice jig so they all come out even and I'll cut them with my plasma cutter so what I need to do is take the distance from my plasma cutter where it's gonna rub which is roughly a quarter of an inch Make a line on the inside, a line on the outside, and then I can cut that out and it should be pretty close to what I need here.
to knock my phone over, my whole tripod, destroyed my lens, it's all scratched up really bad, so no more wide angle for a while, until I can get on Amazon I guess, so here we go. before I finish it I'm gonna trim a little out of there and tweak it straight it's a little crooked but kind of see what we got going there it's gonna follow that radius so what we'll do is we'll I don't know if I'm gonna finish the inside first or I'm gonna go ahead and oh my angle sucks cut this to length and get this radius done so we have our piece that fits around we're doing the hard parts first the rest of it will go easy because um, I know this is going to take a long time, obviously, to get these, these right and done. A little tricky, but this is how we need to do it to make it strong, make it last, make it right. Let me try this little one. piece if it's good so we're still gonna have to cut the ends back a little bit that's why this one you notice it doesn't fit all the way it'll be welded to that piece so and these pieces will continue that way this piece will continue this way. and right there we'll have to get a little step in it so it meets up with this lip because that's the reveal we're going for all the way around the whole bed now so we're kind of matching up to that existing reveal by the tailgate and we're going to just let it follow all the way around that'll give us our strength well i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i know it doesn't look like we're getting very far this is time consuming work it took a few hours just to get that one bend done so i uh, gotta do the other side still We'll get the hard part built first. Uh, I'll probably won't do that in the next video, but I will do the rest of the framework and mink and the mounts and stuff in the next video. Uh, I think you guys got the idea of how to do the radiuses there. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. It's been a lot of work. I haven't been getting a lot of hours in every day. Got family down and Christmas and all that going on. So, happy holidays and Merry Christmas or whatever you celebrate. We'll see you next time on Highland Cop Rides.